What's going on guys and welcome back to the crew wild run. The Mazda MX-5 is now in the game. I'm going to be doing a perspect build of this car. Now I first want to say that I'm a bit, I'm a bit sorry, I'm, I'm very sorry about not having a 200 subscriber special up yet. Um, I went to go record what I was going to do. I was going to do a reacting video so I was going to have a face cam and everything and um, it wouldn't let me, the camera on like my webcam, I don't have a good enough actual camera to record with it and my webcam wouldn't allow me to kind of minimize the camera and um, start recording so um yeah that's gonna have to go down the window instead I'm gonna be doing something it might not be as special to some people I reckon it get more people will be interested in it but I'm gonna be doing a um I reckon I'm gonna do a kind of rockstar editor thing in GTA 5 um, featuring all my kind of super and sports cars in my garages um, so it's gonna be like a little showcase montage type thing Hopefully that'll be alright for you guys. I really wanted to do kind of a reaction type thing. However, it's just, uh, there's no way I can possibly do it. I don't want to do a Q&A or anything because 200 subscribers, it's not really enough to be doing that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I, I'm sorry if that's not what you guys wanted. Um, however, it's going to be have to. It's going to have to be what it is. Maybe when to get when we get to 500, I might be able to do something like that. Or at that point, I may even be able to do a Q&A. But anyway, today we are, um, that, that video should be up in the next couple of days, hopefully. Um, it may take me a little while because, you know, with the Rockstar Editor being a bit faffy and stuff. But yeah, today we're going to be customizing this car um, and seeing what we can do to it. So we can kind of clean it up a little bit there. We can put red lines on the bottom, which is nice. Um, basically all the same stuff through here. Um, I don't really like the, um, oh, I don't know, actually. I don't really want to go. I kind of I like this sort of thing. I quite like that. Um, I don't know which one though. Probably that one. I quite like that actually. Um, I reckon I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I reckon I'm gonna go with that one. Why not? We're gonna go for a rear bumper now. Um, we got some pretty standard bumpers. I don't like that one. That one looks a bit weird. Um, I don't mind the side exhausts. They look okay. Um, the middle exhaust looks kind of crazy, but I'm not a big fan of it. I think I'm going to go for, um, that one. I'll go for that one. Side skirts, we've got that and that. What does that even... I don't even see what that changes. I do not understand what that changes, so we're just going to keep it how it is. Um, rims, we have got black rims and those rims. Um... How do the black rooms look? Yeah, those look pretty nice. I guess we'll go for them. Side mirrors, we can make them normal. I prefer normal wing mirrors um, over carbon ones. Rear wing, we can take the wing off, or we can have that wing. I'm going to leave it how it is. I think I quite like that wing. And then for the hood, we can add some stuff to it. Uh, I imagine we can go carbon fiber. Yes, we can. Um, what does a carbon fiber hood look like? Um, I'm not. I don't. I'm not really sure. I don't think I'm a big fan. I think I quite like that. I kind of want to add some volume to it. So I'm gonna go for. We could even. We could even go for that. Um. Yeah, now we're gonna go for that. We're gonna go for that one. Just to add it make it look a bit better. We're going to keep it the same colour. Um, interior and that will just keep all the same because I'm not going to start messing around with it. It doesn't make too much of a difference. But there we go. That is my Mazda MX-5 in perf spec. Looks pretty cool. Decent amount of customization that you can do to this car. But now let's go and take it for a drive. Alright, so here we are with the Mazda MX-5 looking very, very nice. A cool looking car, this one. Um, I quite like this version of the MX-5. I probably prefer the older version with the pop-up headlights and all. Um, however, this one is still pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I think the customization of this is very nice. It looks awesome. And um, I can't wait to drive it. So, let's give it a drive. We don't want to do that, so we're going to go around it. Oh, I'm in manual. I, did, <laughs> I didn't realize... Sorry, um, let's just put that back into um, oh, is it? automatic, there we go. That was probably when I was doing like drag races or something, um, or jumps with a drag car. So, Mazda MX-5, here we go. 
Um, I haven't played the crew very much lately. I kind of, I just play the crew whenever there's a new car added. I play the crew to check the new car out, and um, I kind of come off it until another car comes out, basically. So um, yeah, I haven't really been playing it too much lately. So um, excuse me if I am not great. The MX-5, pretty awesome car. I quite like it. Um, yeah, it's it's a nice car. Good car to be added to the game, I suppose. And um, it seems pretty good actually in Perspect. We've only got it to a level 717, but um, it seems pretty nippy. It seems pretty fast. I think this could be a pretty good Perf car in the game. Um, yeah, just kind of an interesting car. What is? Oh, that's the wrong button. I'm sorry. I've been playing playing other games. Um, what is the interior like? Um, oh god, pretty pretty nice interior from the look of it. Yeah, pretty detailed, nice interior with the screens and everything. I quite like that. Um, the handling for this car seems pretty good. Quite nippy. You know, changes direction pretty well. And also, decent traction. However, you can get it sliding around a little bit. Which is always good. You know, you've got to have a little bit of fun involved. And with it being kind of, you know, quite snappy sometimes, it does help a lot of the time when you're trying to get around corners quickly. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a good car. I, I quite like it. I think it's a pretty nice addition to the game. And, you know, I might upgrade it a little bit, I don't know, I don't, like I said, I don't really play the crew um, that much anymore, apart from when a new car comes out, so I don't really bother upgrading cars or anything, because, you know, I just won't really drive them, um, so, yeah, um, I, I, I don't know, oh, I missed that turn, oh, we're going into the trees, we are going into the trees, that's the tree. Alright, so I think I'm going to wind the video down here, guys, so, Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. Once again, I'm sorry that I haven't got the 200 subscriber special video out yet. It should be out soon. I'm going to start working on it, hopefully, today. Um, if it's not the next video, it will be the one after. Um, I'm sorry if it's not what you guys wanted, because it's not going to be that special. However, it's something that I've wanted to do. You know, I've wanted to do a bit of a showcase of my GTA Online cars. I mean, you guys will get to see what cars I have in my GTA Online garage, so that, I mean, maybe some people will be interested in that, I'm hoping so, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys, oh god, in the next video.